at the Great North Museum, but I don't know anything about it, so we're going to go inside and have a look around. This is the Living Planet and over there is the Natural Northumbria. They're all natural history exhibits. They've even got sound effects. Oh, oh. This is like creeps, look. The stuff's there. I forgot what it is, is it? I don't like the look of it. Oh, because. Why because don't you like a I don't like snakes. Hello, oh, little guy. <laughs> We like this polar bear. The most interesting thing I've seen so far is the polar bear. I want to know how they got it in and how like they stuffed it and how they killed it and brought it all the way down here. We've chosen the white cow from the Natural Northumbria's museum room because we all thought it was interesting and we think it stands out. Why do you need a cow in the museum and what's special about it? It's a Chillingham Park cow um, and Chillingham Park cattle have basically lived in complete isolation for three or four hundred years if not more and they're all white and they're all very small. See this? I will roll at you. <laughs> the only place you ever see them or you're ever going to see them is in Chillingham Castle so for most people, people maybe who haven't been or can't go this is really the only way that they're going to be able to get up close and personal with a Chillingham cow. Uh, I think it hasn't been stuffed right and it's still alive somehow. Stuffing a cow takes a while. First you've got to get your cow, right? Then you've got to skin your cow, which takes a long time because you have to basically cut all the skin away from the entire animal. Then you've got to cut the head off and take the skull out. Then, once we've taken the skin, we wrap it round a model of the cow and we use the skull and the horns so that we get a really good representation of the head and we put glass eyes in and it's all stitched together and then it has to be dried out. And that process takes a very long time and we don't have the facilities to do it here at the museum. You need to have a proper taxidermist workshop to do that. But at smaller animals, people find dead animals and they bring them into the museum. Obviously we have these big freezers where we keep all the dead animals before we stuff them. The most surprising thing I found out is stuffing it, that you have to take the skull out and clean it and like then you have to stuff it and then you have to like let it all dry and that. 